how to disable the floating keyboard on an iPad. And if you don't know what I mean, it's simply when you try to search for something and the keyboard appears this way, but you actually want it to appear fully on the entire screen. There are two ways to fix this. One is the simplest way, and the other might be a bit more complex for some people. So how do we quickly disable it when, for example, I'm browsing around and the floating keyboard appears? The first way is to use your fingers and simply make a pinching gesture to make the keyboard larger or smaller. For example, if I come here to the keyboard and pinch it but in an expanding motion, that is, moving my fingers apart, then this keyboard will become large as you can see here. But if I now use my fingers and instead of pinching to expand, I pinch to close, then the keyboard will become small. You may need to try this several times if you can't do it at first. Now, it might be that you try this and it doesn't work. What are you going to do in this case? You are going to go directly to the settings of your iPad by clicking on this icon down here. You are going to scroll through here and go directly to where it says General, which is this option here. And then when you enter General, this will appear here that says Software Update. You will go there and here it will show you if your iPad is up to date or not. Try to always have an updated version because if not, this option might not be activated on your iPad. Now, this is the first option you have to make the keyboard appear as a large keyboard or a floating keyboard. Now, if this function does not serve you, does not work, or is not to your liking, the other option is to go directly to your app store, your Apple application store, search and simply look for the word keyboard so that alternative applications appear directly. So, there is a keyboard from Google, there is a keyboard from Microsoft, and these options will directly replace the keyboard of your iPad so that you can use alternatives without the need for the floating keyboard and without configuring it all the time. Anyway, these keyboards for iPad from Google and Microsoft are quite advanced and have functions that the iPad might not have. So it is a very good alternative to use these keyboards and replace the iPad keyboards, in this case, from Apple.